There we go. Now we're around there the world go. again. So where are we going El today? El Salvador. All right. Hot chilies. Hot chilies. Yeah. There you go. That's the coffee roaster. Um, I actually ordered two um, El Salvador well, coffees. One was supposed to be Belize, but this one looks better, so we're going to have it. Well, our Achilles, like our Achilles heel. Yeah, that's what they mean. Okay. Yeah, that's what it is. Well, help me out. El Salvador. So that's the next in line. And then after this, we'll go Belize, and then we'll go Honduras. So, yeah. All right, baby. So, there we go. There we go. Let's, let's give it a shot. Let's grind it up. Voila. There we're going. Uncut as usual. This one looks like a little bit more medium, but look, nice coffee again. There we go. There's one. Always remember to put your grinder bottom on if you ever do it over and over and get too excited. I learned that lesson. That's what I like to use these things for. Is um, really just out of the hand grinder. It just helps loosen up the bottom a little. It's nice. Or if you have a really um, a lot of static electricity somewhere, I think it helps break it up. There we go. Trick and put your bottom back on right away. You will. You'll avoid the. Uh, the mishap, so here we go. Next one. All right. Light poles. Voila. Here we go. El Salvador, here we come. See how these babies go. All right, so we're doing this live, live as can be. We'll go with the usual, you know, which is like you not mug, and I've been using this a lot. And this we switch out, but sometimes you know you get in the mug and cup you like. But these um, nomads, you can find them on Etsy too. These nomads are really nice mugs, and the tops are well designed. They have a little hole to drink through. And then they also have one that you can put the lid in the little flipper so it sits flat. Yeah, totally epic. And then close it up. Yeah, they're really nice. Um, they're really nice overall mugs and you can take them to go. Excellent. All right, we got our drips. Here we go. Hang on. Let's see how this baby goes. Unrehearsed, like always. No second tries. A little double. That one going to coincide to one? We'll find out, won't we? Maybe at the end. It's a stubborn one, but that's the way it is. Oh, there we go. No worries now. No worries before, but you know, overall, coming out good. The Lapavoni always performs, doesn't it? Yeah, so far, here we go. One more. And then we go outside. We'll go out and sit outside in the back yard and have these with Uta. So we're kind of doing the same thing. There we go, right to the center. It's like everything in the world, everything works out in the end. Just don't listen to anybody. <laughs> there we go. Wow, I think we did it again. We'll heat that one up to steam a little, but shoot. Exactly the same, yeah, nice crema. You know, the La Pavone or Pecola really does it. It's going to heat up. I'm going to do a little steaming, and then we'll pour these and go outside. Let me see what to get let's, here. Let's oh. see what we got. Let's try the El Salvador Achilles coffee roasters. All right. Ready for Yeah, ready. Here we go. Right. Let's see how good it is. Medium roast. This smells supposed to have a honey pecan grapefruit taste, but okay. <laughs> mm. 
you know, it doesn't leave what we're looking for. Is there an aftertaste on the tongue too much or kind of that acidic? I don't, think, I don't think it's like wine. Uh, no, maybe but... Maybe you have to chew it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's good, though. Mm -hmm. Let's hear your unbias. It's from a high altitude, like a little higher than where we used to live, so... I mean, I like it. Too. Yeah, it's good. I'd say it's a little better than the um, Guatemalan. Not that the coffee's any better, but the roaster, but... First was the Mexico coffee was really good. It was really Second good. coffee was all right, but left a little bit of an aftertaste and had a little bit of jitteriness. Oh, but it was a good coffee. I didn't really care that much you for it. You didn't care that this, much for it. But this is really good. This is the El Salvador medium roast. And um, it's not roasted that long ago. They put a little thing on their pack, so it's pretty good. I ordered also the um, Belize coffee because... I kind of ordered two El Salvador's by mistake because I thought I was getting Belize from them, but I must have pushed the wrong button or whatever. So I have some Belize going because that's going to be in up, the next upcoming show. And then Honduras, but yeah. I El, like it. Yeah, I mean, El Salvador is really good. Coffee tastes good right now. Yeah, really good. I don't know much about El Salvador, but I know that there's been some... Uh, in the past, it wasn't the most pleasant people in charge there, but... You know, Central America always gets screwed up. It's such an excellent place, but always some big corporate, like the U.S. corporation <laughs> complex always screws them over is basically the truth. But, um, yeah, good coffee. Oh, wow, well, you are drinking it. <laughs> well, Votan guzzles some coffee down, you know, it's pretty darn good. It's on par with the Kona, $40, $50 a pound. So we got to have, say, the El Salvador. We might have to switch off this Kona coffee. We might really switch expensive. out for a while, you know, because it is expensive. Even the it Hawaiian is. coffee is more than ordering these. Let me tell you. I mean, we pay a lot for the coffee. Here. Yeah, we do. So. Even though it's produced here, there's not, there are some deals like on the side of the road, but it's kind of a funky quality sometimes. And sometimes <laughs> they're sketchy characters too. But anyway, that's Kona. <laughs> If you lived here a long time ago, yeah, it's the nice people at the little stem. You kind of know. In the, oh, it's about that time. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> anyway, the further south in Kona you get, the uh, gets a little crazier. Yeah. I lived in South Kona for a long, long time, so I can say that. And Uta lived in South Kona with me. We had some adventures down there, boy. Yeah, We're in North Kona now. It's just, but it's no different here. <laughs> no, it's not that much different. It's a little quieter. It's a little quieter and a little bit saner. But, not that sane. Not that sane. But anyway, that's Hawaii. But South Kona gets a little crazy. But We enjoy the Kokis. Yeah. Thanks for the Koki frogs. <laughs> the Puerto Ricans know about those. But yeah, El Salvador came out good. We're really having fun like on this it. trip. And then Ralph... I think yeah. that's his name is our first um, patron Ralph is guy. Awesome. Yeah, Ralph is like <laughs> totally cool. And he's going to help us do these. Yeah, thank you. Because, yeah, we're at about, I don't know, you know, these are about $25 with shipping. They've been averaging $19 to $27 each bag. So that's the only thing for the patron. We're going to buy the coffee whether people help us or not. Yeah. But it's kind of fun to do this tour. And, um, you know, as we get more people on Patreon too, we'll have some like private ones where we won't be so restrictive. Where we talk about the coffee, and we might have to stick with one of those. And we might have to stick with one of these coffees. It's, it's pretty good. So we're gonna keep. Um, we're gonna travel on, man. We got a lot of places to stop, and we're gonna do them all. We're not gonna punk out. We're not gonna go oh, la la la. But we're we're going. You'll see. You'll know us when we mm -hmm. say we're gonna do something. We do. Right. We're gonna we're go, going and to. we're gonna be all through all those countries. And um, yeah, it's, it's badass so far. El Salvador, another win. So we really haven't had a horrid coffee. And of course, you know, you've got to take into account different crops and roasters and things too. So we can't necessarily compare each one 100%, but we're doing pretty good. And all of them have done pretty good on coffee. The last one was really good in taste, but it gave, gives you really bad jitters. jitters. Yeah, the last Just... one had really good taste, but it gave you the jitters. It had a really sharp caffeine content and it got yeah. you a little jittery. It wasn't a smooth, nice upward yeah. flow or kind of a you know a sleepy <laughs> nap time after coffee it wasn't one of those it got you up and a little jittery not even good for working you were a little hard to focus no but it was really weird it, was, it had a weird caffeine I'm but, used to that, but no but anyway yeah. there we go again so yeah thanks for ralph we'll probably contact him. we'll probably send him a pin 
you know, the first subscribers will get a little gift from us. And pretty soon we're going to um, send out some coffee. Like we have another bag of El Salvador we may try, but not for a while. So that bag, I don't know what we're going to do with. It's a different brand, but maybe we'll um, send it on to somebody, one of the subscribers, a random pick. But um, yeah, yeah definitely. Something good. Yeah, something good. It's going to be a lot of fun stuff. So here we are. Thank you, Bubba. All right. We did it again. It's gone. It's gone. Well, you did. So it has to be pretty damn good. If we just drank it back down because she yeah. has a very good sense of smell and taste. But then so. I haven't had coffee. But then we day. haven't had coffee all, all day. We had. <laughs> we ran around. We were going to go surfing, but it was a little, the conditions were bad, and we weren't going to work. But then we got some calls, so we did a couple service calls, and uh, we rescued somebody that got hit bit by a centipede and brought them groceries. And uh, yeah. Well, yeah, kind of busy day, it's so. kind of a busy day. We made some money. Though. We love those weekend service calls. But yeah. anyway, that's what we do. And um, yeah, once again, we're out in the yard. Cold afternoon, but we're filled up the old hot tub. We're going to get in that. <laughs> it's afternoon. probably down to 81. <laughs> it's humid and overcast. Afternoon. It's not really cold. Yeah. <laughs> and that's our little backyard where we hang out a lot. We just It's pretty fun. I've been a couple tours, but our little garden's doing good. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's the whole story. Okay, then. Okay, then, El Salvador. <laughs> we did it. Oh, yeah. Then onward we go. We're all going to have a lot of fun. <laughs> Cut! <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> okay. Oh, let's, see. let's make sure it did go.